What's up, Terabytes? I'm Tara with Tara Simon Studios, and today, for the first time, I might add, I'm gonna be reacting to, oh gosh, Lonnie Misaluncha. I hope I'm saying that right. She is on the wish bus, guys. We are back on the bus, and we're about to hear a song that I can't pronounce. Here we go. Bugas na lang kita mama halin. How'd I do? My only gripe about Wish Bus is that they're always sitting. Beautiful intonation. I'm gonna stop right there. I know she sounds so beautiful, but I have to say something about what she just did. I love when singers have the courage to make adjustments mid-performance. So this happens all the time in our student showcases where um, a mic will be set in place for a singer, but it's not the right height or it's in the wrong space, especially if they're singing and playing. And the singer just leaves it there. And then the whole performance is watered down and sometimes even ruined because they didn't have the discernment or the courage to move the instrument that is amplifying their voice. I love that she did that. I love that she moved in mid, uh, in mid song. She kept with the emotional melody and content, but she didn't just let it be uncomfortable for her. And that's great knowledge for you guys who are out there. Don't feel like you can't adjust your mic or your instrument or your stand or whatever it is that you need to. If you have a headset, it's okay to do that. We know that it's there. You don't have to act like it's not. So I love that. Um, and, and that's something that we hardly ever talk about, but go ahead and be the master of your domain in that moment and do what you need to do to make it comfortable for you to create the best performance possible for us, the audience. Love that. Great intonation. I said it once, but I'll say it again. Really nice. Beautiful, relaxed vibrato. Yeah, straight tone into vibrato. Mm, like butter. Mm-hmm. I love that, using the consonants to bounce the sound. Beautiful. Girl, 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 girl. Okay, um, so I mentioned like sitting is a bummer when you sing, but she is singing mostly in her mix and her head voice here, and it is beautifully done. And it doesn't take as much um, ab support. And I'm talking about like the ab support where like you're lifting something heavy and you need that to like keep your back safe kind of support because that's what chest voice takes. But this is a different type of support. Yes, it still needs to be supported, but it's not to the degree or the same level. And so it's really not suffering here for her. And and I mean, the vibrato is so relaxed. The intonation is so spot on, so perfect. And her pitch is beautiful. I love that she's choosing in certain moments to make her highs more airy. There was an awe that she did a few seconds back where it was, ah, it was, it was more breathy instead of ah, which was more tonal. And it added such such luxury, such decadence to that line. It was really beautifully done. Um, I really also love her pauses. I love how she's using the consonants to bounce to the next thing, but then she ends very quickly. Um, and I'm sure that's indicative of the, the language that she's speaking as well, um, but, I think that that can be translated and transferred over into any language and that type of um, technique and style can be used to create interest in other languages as well. So that's something really interesting uh, that I'm taking away from what she's doing right now. Let's keep going. Listen to that breath in there, it's so nice. Mm. Swallowing, resetting the chords. Mm. 
Ang isa katulad mo. Katulad. That's so nice. That's so great. I love it. Sa We gotta stop there. Okay, the na la the note. That was a beautifully placed high end mix. That was not head voice, guys. The difference would sound like this. No, that's head voice. But but listen, let's see if I can go from the the head voice into mix. You can hear the difference. <coughs> um, That's that mix, that more forward placed sound. And she went from a full chest to pulling chest up into mix, but it was on the upper end of mix. So just a little higher and she would have been forced to go into full head. But she made it more gritty, more intense, and, and it matched the climax of the piece of the song as well by making it more forward into mix instead of la, but la. That is much more gritty and intense. I loved that. Let's listen to that again. Good job. Woo! She's got a beautiful voice. <laughs> more head voice there. Mm. Yes. Love the swell. Exclusive. I love how her vibrato slows down just a little bit as she holds notes. Yes! Woo! Girl, Lonnie, girl, hey, let's have a convo here. That was so lovely, so beautifully done. What poise? Really great execution of vocal technique. There were so many things to break down there, guys. I didn't want to be annoying and pause like every two seconds, but I really could have just to show you and break down all the little intricacies and, and nuances that she did, um, technically speaking, with her voice and how she chose to intonate and swell and make crescendos and use her vibrato as like a like a bow on the end of the package of the melodic line, so to speak. So rich in vocal technique, so rich, so beautiful. Thanks so much for asking me to watch her, guys. Wish Bus never disappoints with its singers. They always have really phenomenal artists on, so that's a great platform. Thank you, Wish Bus, for creating that and, and showcasing these amazing artists. You, you guys are awesome. Just make them stand up for me next time, okay? <laughs> that's a pet peeve. Uh, but again, she didn't really need the stance. She didn't really need to stand because of the way she was singing, uh, the way that she implemented her, her usage of the different registers in her voice. And the control that she had over those registers was really impressive and phenomenal. So this was really wonderful. If you're a singer and you're needing help on your vocal journey, check out our description box. I'm not going to say much about it, but there's multiple links there just for you. Don't miss out on those opportunities, guys. Check out, just click them, see what happens, see what that we're offering. And if that's something that would fit you and your needs, we love you at TSS. I am proud of you. I consider you part of my vocal coaching family at the Tara Simon Studios family. You're the best part of my channel. Be kind to someone today, be selfless, be a blessing to others. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.